back into the video review for you. This time we are taking a look at the second figure of the trans in the Transformers Collectors Club subscription service, and this is Slipstream. Uh, again, continuing in my tradition of reviewing figures of uh, repaints before the original mold. This is uh, remold. This is repainted uh, version of the first edition Starscream. Uh, Slipstream. Don't know a lot about personally. I don't. Well, personally, I don't know a lot about the character. I know she has. I know it's a female that has something to do with. Um, I believe animated. That uh, she was like the leader of a bunch of clones. It was supposed to be like a clone of Starscream or something like that. So it's kind of fitting. But I know she's supposed to be a seeker, and I'm pretty sure it has something to do with clones. But I'm not 100% sure of her backstory. But as you can see, it is repainted from the uh, slight remold to the head is new. First edition Starscream. And it is abs the paint on this guy, this girl, is absolutely gorgeous, just like Scourge. The teal and the purple, just absolutely gorgeous looking paint job. Just very, very good looking. So yeah, it is a, I guess we have to talk about it because I never, I haven't reviewed uh, Starscream yet, but it is modeled after an F-16. It's not exactly an F-16, but it is, it is modeled after it. Uh, the only real flaw is a gorgeous looking figure. The only real flaw is the fact that the uh, the legs are just kind of chilling out underneath. Again, you can't really hide them. But, so they're there. They're just kind of there. Um, it does kind of have landing gear. There's a nub here and two nubs right here that kind of act as landing gear. Uh, the rockets on the undersides of the wings, it's right here, there's the bars and they slot in. These are the very soft rubbery plastic. So you can do things like that. So yeah, just be aware of that. Um, I'm pretty sure the logic is if they were hard rubber, or if they hard plastic, and there's a single one, like he was, like Starscream is supposed to have a single missile, you can poke your eye out, but uh, what are you gonna do? Um, you can just start taking, just take these off for now. The triple missiles. So we'll just take those off, put those on the side for now. So, again, very pretty looking figure. But uh, let's get down to transformation. Take a look at her. So the first thing you wanna do is come under here and unpeg the legs. They peg in right here. Hard to see, but there's a gray tab right there. <coughs> gray tab right there, tabs into the side right there. So we're gonna, and it also tabs in right there. So there and up there tabs in. So we're going to untab both legs on both sides, like that, and just swing them down. It tabs into the body of the plane up there, so what we want to do is unpeg it from there. See the purple and the purple? And you see there's also slots on this gray bit. So what we're going to do is unhinge it, and it's on its double hinge. So just kind of bring it forward, rotate it around, and then bend it up on that hinge, and then put the purple tab into the gray slot, the one on each side. Okay, so then come under here to the heels and just flip out the heels and the toes. And that's nice, I kind of get flat ahead of time. So then we're going to come back behind here and flip out these uh, rear shin spikes and then flip forward these front knee spikes. These front knee spikes are the soft rubbery plastic. Again, I guess so kids don't poke their eyes out. So now we're just going to uh, raise the camera up so we can see what we're doing. So next what you want to do is we're going to rotate, see that slit right there at the cockpit? We're going to rotate it 180 degrees at that. It will actually click into place. So hopefully this comes across. See? It clicks right into place. So that's solid. Right there. There's actually a notch in there that clicks it in. Uh, disconnect the wings, they just tab in right there. And just kind of bring them back and out of the way. Come up here to either side of the jet uh, thruster engine and just separate the parts that will, the rear section of the plane that will become the arms and kind of swing them down and around to form the arms. 
And then what we're going to do is fold back this tail fin, rotate the this section 90 degrees, and then you're going to pull it out. First time you do it, it's very stiff and you can feel like you're gonna rip it off. And when you push it back in, you feel like you're gonna snap it. But as long as you pull it straight away and push it straight in, you'll be fine. So just kind of wiggle it free. And then see, I got it halfway. And there we go. That gives it the bend. Flip out the hand. It's on a double hinge at the ankle, at the wrist to make it see, I fold, so I can fold flat. Fold it all the way out. Same thing on the other side. Flip the fin, rotate it around. Pull it straight out. Flip out the hand. And you can bend it at the elbow. Now, what we're going to do is swing it around. I'm going to take a look at the back. I'm going to take this whole assembly, rear assembly, bring it down. When you bring it down, the head is in this chest cavity. I'm just going to bring the head out. Um, you can go ahead now and his tail fin actually splits. So get a fingernail in there and just split it open for now. Bring the head forward, and you'll see that there's a tab on the end of this arm and it just slots in there. Oh, and also the torso bends at the abdomen. So we're going to want to bend it forward. And then, ah, actually we don't want to do that yet. Come back here, rotate the jet 90 to, uh, 180 degrees, and we're just gonna start collapsing this. This is gonna tab That's going to tab into into there, and you fold the fins all the way back. Now you can tab down the head, just like that. Bring it forward, and then we're going to fold the backpack, and that purple bit right there is going to tab in, and then we're going to fold, see the jet part is on a hinge, we're going to fold that down. So it just kind of accordions down and just make sure you uh, you fold that bit down too. Make sure the fin, the tail fin is folded flat back. Wings are on a double hinge, so you're going to fold the first, fold it back at the first, at the hinge close to the body and then fold it away at the hinge close to the jet. And then you'll see there's a pin right here, and that actually is another hinge that will fold the wings up a little bit to flare them up a little bit. And basically we are done. There we have Slipstream in her robot mode. So we can take the miss missiles and uh, slot them onto the tail portions that are on her forearms now. Actually, like... I'm a little anal, i.e. particular, uh, I like those missiles on that side, and these missiles on this side. Uh, if you don't want the missiles on, on the arms, you can put the missiles on the wings again, it's right there. They do look kind of silly though. So yeah, here she is in her robot mode. So again, the paint comes off very, very, very gorgeous looking. Unfortunately, her face is dark, so it's hard to, hopefully, camera will catch it. But yeah, the paint, the head is remolded. Let's see if I can... Yeah, there you go. It's similar to Starscream, but it's more feminine. Uh, a lot of people don't like the head. I am not one of them. I think the head looks just fine. And I think she is very cool. So yeah, so let's take a look at articulation. If I can get her to stand properly. It's hard to do this from behind the camera at the right angles. There we go. So, 
head is on a ball joint and the neck I don't know, the neck is locked in. I thought there was a little bit more articulation. The head is on a ball joint, but you get you can look straight up. Full range of motion. There, uh, there's no light piping, it's just painted, so that's why you can get the uh, the full range there. Wings are articulated, you can position them any way you want. Shoulders are on a ball joint, and they're also hinged, but the hinge is just for transformation. Uh, most, it's just the ball joint that's for uh, articulation. It, it's a little bit hindered because of the wings, but again, the wings can be folded out of the way, so you can't get full range. You just got to move the wings. Bends at the elbow. It's just a hinge, just a 90 degree hinge that does bend back. Cut at the upper bicep. Wrist just folds in for transformation, but it's on a double hinge, so you can get. You can go all the way back if you really wanted to. Stupid spikes. Waist is on a swivel. Um, just so you know, there is a. Uh, it's not really a ratchet. There's just like I said, there's a, there's a notch cut in there, and there's like a ring with a notch cut in it, and there's like a peg in this part. So when like when the ring comes around, it clicks into that notch. So it's like grips it like that. So in order to to rotate the waist, you have to flip past that notch. So you will feel a little bit of resistance when you first swivel at the waist, but it's perfectly normal. Just, you know, you have nothing to be worried about. Just you'll feel it go past that notch and then it's fine. Bull jointed hips, cut right at the hip, right there. Bend at the knee, nice and deep. And then the feet just kind of pinch together for the transformation. So yeah, pretty during good range of motion. So again, very, very nice little range of motion. Um, the only things I don't really like are the extremely long forearms and the extremely short biceps. But again, you know, it's mostly due to uh, the limitation of the vehicle, you know, having to turn from the vehicle mode to the alt mode, you know, from the alt mode to the robot mode. So it was, you know, more of a design choice. But it doesn't look bad, it's just kind of a little funny to see these really, really long forearms. I like the head. I know that the head doesn't bother me, I know it bothers a lot of people. Um, the backpack is small. You know, it's not that obtrusive. It does kind of look like she's got a penis hanging out or she's taking a dump. Right there. But, not the end of the world. Just overall, just an absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous looking figure. I mean, they have really been doing a great job with these guys so far. We've only got two. You know, this, as of the time of this recording, she's these two are the only ones out. But here she is with Scourge. And you just see what you know beautiful paint jobs they've actually been doing. Except when she wants to fall over, because my it's not her, it's not the figure's fault. It's my fault in the table, the desk I'm on, not being flat. Yeah, here's the two of them together. You can see, see how pretty they are. Again, actually I didn't say it with that one. I'll say it with this one. If you have any interest in any of the figures in the subscription club, um, we just got word of the third of six figures in the uh, 2.0 service, subscription club 2.0 for next year. Um, so far we're getting Chrome Dome, IDW Chrome Dome, based off of Wheel, Prime Wheeljack. Um, we are getting Tread Shot, based off of uh, Warpath, Generation Warpath. And we just found out we are getting uh, barricade, prime barricade out of uh, Beast Hunter's smokescreen. Actually, Beast Hunter's proud because he has the lights on the top. The, stro the uh, police lights. So, if you have any interest in any one of the six figures, actually getting seven figures for the next one. There's five deluxes and a scout. And then if you get all six, you get one free one. So you're getting seven, six deluxes and a scout. If you have any interest in any of them, even one, even just one, Buy the whole subscription. Number one, you knock your figures over. Number two, it makes them, you know, know that they're successful. It makes them successful and like makes them do more subscriptions and better figures next time. Three, the prices of this figure on like Big Bad and TF Source was going for a hundred bucks. I paid forty-seven. That's double, right there. 
if you don't want, even if you want one figure, you can sell off the other five or six figures for a hundred, you know, even if you get 75 bucks a pop, you're paying for your whole subscription and you just paid for your, paid for your figure. So it's silly to not get the subscription. Even if you sell them all off, you know, at a reduced cost of, you know, if you undercut everybody else, you can still, you can still, you know, get your subscription paid for. I see people paying a hundred and hundred fifty dollars for her and for uh, for Scourge, and it's like you could have paid for the subscription, got the figures you wanted, and sold off the rest. Even if you don't make a profit, you will definitely get your money back. And you're, and you're gonna, you know, then other pe other people that didn't want to subscribe to the club can get the figures. You know, under you know, don't 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 be a bastard and you know charge ridiculous prices. But if everyone else is selling for a hundred, sell it for seventy-five. And then you're helping somebody out who wanted the figure. So yeah, just if you have any interest in any of the figures, I say just get the whole subscription. You know, that way we get more of these. Because honestly, this figure is gorgeous, gorgeous. I think it's just I think it's just so pretty. I want to marry it. So yeah. Subscription club, uh, club, the club subscription gets two thumbs up from me. And they stole my credit card. <laughs> well, they didn't steal my credit card, but I got my credit card stolen through them, and I still give them my money. Because they, when they, like I said, when they do things right, they do things right. So yeah, this has been the video review for Transformers Collectors Club subscription figures. No, Transformers Collectors Club subscription service. This is Slipstream. <laughs>